next to our episode of Let's Stay Out of Survival. Today, we return and we are ready to talk to the survivor. Hello, Mr. Survivor. How do you do? Hey, over here. Help me, please. All right, Mr. Survivor. I'll see what I can do to help you. And then today, hopefully, we'll be going on the fabled revenge raid as soon as we get our ways back home. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In the meantime, with the most fantastic variety today, we are back at college, ladies and gentlemen. So if I sound a little bit different, if the audio is a little bit different, I do apologize most sincerely. I will be doing my best to make it as amazing for y'all as possible. Like I will do my best to shoot down the survivors. They don't deserve to live because they're trying to shoot me down too. And I don't want to die. I like living. Please stop shooting me. Wah. All right. They're dead. That's good. As you can see here, we are more than ready to actually buy ourselves another level four wall as well. But I hope just number one, mainly, that you guys are having an absolutely a fan for fantastic day. I'm guessing a lot of you guys are starting school back up. So, hey, so am I. We'll get through this together. I believe in y'all. Just promise that y'all will believe in me because being the first day back, it is, uh, it is definitely a struggle. And thank you. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. A zip gun. The game always the no no you know what i want again you know what i want give me what i want give me what i really want yeah give me what i want what i really really want you know i really want that scuba mask but uh today we also got some awesome stuff to talk about from kafir that they dropped today that i think you guys are going to be very uh very excited about so why don't we just try to loot through the last of this chopper cross our fingers see if maybe we get lucky enough for a fully mod i'll take that man i will take that to the bank straight to the bank boy and we got some more of uh, those things there we could grab all right but let's get the hell out of dodge and let's get the hell into talking about this this little thing here so this is what kafir tweeted out today with this photo it's been a while since we showed you what we are designing at the moment here is a concept art of a character we currently are working on what do you think is he gonna be a good pal or the one who will bring you troubles and looking from this guy i'm telling you right now this has something to do with the raiders this is like a exactly the type of get up the raiders look like they're rocking and if i had to say anything i think this might be like the leader of the raider faction or something like that maybe it'll be like a boss maybe it'll be like the main bad guy that we have to go up against or something i could see all of these things potentially buffing out but this guy just based off of what he's looking like he, he has to do something with the raiders i wonder if maybe since uh it's been leaking a little bit that you'll be able to have companions in the future again that is just leaks though not 100 confirmed but what if he's our first raider companion or what if this is someone that we can recruit to protect our base or maybe it'll be a raider that has his own events or something like that there's so many cool potential ideas and those are at least a couple of the ones that come to my head off the top of my head i'd love to hear your guys' ideas for what you think he might be in that comment section down below and remind you that comments which are third of the way until the week of 25 no iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure that like button, make sure to subscribe. Boom shakalaka, you went through on this video. Y'all can enter in on every single Last Day on Earth video. Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random Last Day on Earth video from the past month. Uh, not the past month, oh mama. No, it's a weekly giveaway from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. That random comment will be messaged, will be announced on Saturday as Zavina and Zen from Zaya. Oh, we haven't been raided yet, dude. I'm telling you. Well, hopefully we do get raided because usually that's what happens. Usually you get attacked by the horde, which is exactly what happened to us. And then uh, slowly but surely you will be raided. But until that happens, we could very well go to the bunker and do a little bit of shenanigans in there. And of course, create that level four wall I was talking about. But uh, also a little tidbit, if you guys don't know, is make sure that that notification bell as well. So, you know, sorry about the burp. Whenever future videos do come out, which is very handy and very nifty for some of y'all, if you do want to enter it on every video and stay as up to date with the news as possible but right now i want to stay as up to date as i can with another level four wall bum, 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 bum. marvelous i know if i ever hit that x button i'd cry tears of joy but if you follow me within my labyrinth of level one walls which will very soon not be that useful at all but until that happens it will be very useful check out this marvelous marvelous room we got all to ourselves isn't it amazing i know i know it's so good uh we, we put our other scar we got from there into here we now have five c4 plus another two that we haven't used yet our engine parts are above 40 now like things are coming up pretty millhouse and honestly i would say that they're coming up more than millhouse they're just coming up absolutely dope at this point so we'll keep those extra pants around and as long as we got some slots there to do some stuff i think we'll be good to go to head on over to the bunker and try to start plopping open a couple more crates after all we only need seven green tickets 
seconds until we can plop this open and usually what happens every single time i don't know what it is maybe the bunker is what triggers the raiders but every time i go to the bunker and come back that is when the raiders are waiting maybe you just have to be away from your base for a certain amount of time and that's on the come i don't know if you guys have any idea or any like a hints anything like that any just kind of future not future but any good conclusions hypotheses as to how these dudes pop up that would be amazing but uh, back to what we were talking about earlier god oh god i cannot wait to see what that concept art that they showed off is of like i just know that a hundred and 10% in my mind that's got to do with the Raiders how exactly I don't know we'll have to see but something something is up with that and I'm very excited so they have a gun in his hand he just like ah dude if they have a concept art for him they said like this care I don't know there's like the way they were talking about it too it makes it seem like he's gonna be I don't know he's gonna be something big he's gonna be a special character I don't think that's just like a random raider you know that's gonna be a raider with a name that's gonna be a raider that we get to know all right at least off of what I'm guessing I'm on I'm on the raider train okay maybe y'all are on like the uh Walmart goodbye employee train maybe you think they'll open up a Walmart and last day on earth and he'll be the greeter slash the dude who says like goodbye as he walk out of the Walmart maybe that's him I don't know all right, I'm not gonna tell him what he is and what he isn't. I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. I'm gonna wait to probably put all this stuff away because I gotta put this stuff away before the Raiders take it all away from me. Uh, main things I wanna take away, probably going to be some of these gas masks. Probably not too shabby of an idea to do away with. Everything else though, I don't know. Like the chopper wheels, uh, are those really that valid? Like I know some people miss chopper wheels, but most of the people are missing like a fork or mainly a gas tank and today's bunker code if y'all don't know is going to be that oh so wonderful number known as nine eight three seven one nine eight three oh oh my god a little bit of a hiccup there that is the code for today hopefully by the time this video is up you will still be able to put that code to very good use if that's not the case well ain't that unfortunate but i guess we'll just have to find a way if there's a will there is a way i hope or something like that today oh got some fast biters waiting for some pain oh i forgot to pack a melee wet pain that's not good i do have a little bit of an extra first aid kit i could toss into there but we have to start dealing with this aren't we that's right only a couple of bullets and this dudes are done so nothing you can do there besides give me the green ticket that i oh so desire your friend on the other hand uh this gun is definitely going to break while doing that so hold on i'm gonna be ready to swap in a new gun here because things are definitely about to go south ah there we go continue killing please there you go he's dead i just need a couple more green tickets honestly i don't think it's gonna be that long to get those green tickets and i know i know some of you guys are cringing on the inside like dear god star he's he's using an m16 on the fast biters listen all right this m16 was pretty close to broke i'm not gonna risk using this thing against like stronger enemies so i'm gonna I'm clear it out on a couple of the uh, weaker fellows speaking of that can i get a wrench out of here por favor game you know that i want it the question is will you give it and the answer is of course you will thank you thank you thank you oh so much that's exactly what i desired maybe the trash can will have another of what i desired realistically we might even be able to plop on open the yellow at this rate because we only need 10 more tickets and yellow crates usually aren't that super hard so honestly once we clear through the second floor i think we got a great chance of plopping open a green well no we're guaranteed to plop open a green dude there's too many easy enemies to kill but uh, then you have the hard enemies that have like a 60 40 chance between dropping like a yellow and a red i don't know if that's the actual odds i just had to say a specific number so i sounded even smarter uh, had you guys believe in me didn't i <laughs> now then we should have some enemies waiting at the end of this very spoopy hallway full of arms like i don't know dude i might have to get a hallway like this like it seems pretty high roller to literally have like arms that reach out towards you i'm just saying if i'm ever a billionaire i might need to invest into something like this make sure that we invest in a hell of a lot of goals to to take out the roman zombie lads the roman zombies yeah they're straight from rome ship them in fresh baby <laughs> uh well this thing's still got a good amount of durability why don't we use it to take out the float up float up and we're kind of on a little bit of a how is no one dropping anything it's a shenanigans I was going to say we're on a little bit of a time limit because the hunger and Zavata are starting to kick in and I can't break into this stupid thing. Like, come on, break, break, 
break. I need you to break. Look at that. I'm sh I see snacks in there. You telling me those empty wrappers? I've never seen a vending machine that dispenses empty wrappers. Only vending machines that dispense snacks. Although, if anyone's trying to go 50-50 on a potential scam here, why don't we make a vending machine that dispenses wrappers? Think about it. Upfront costs, overhead, super cheap. Like, well, you just gotta, you just gotta pick up some wrappers, but then you sell them. You just gotta pump them up full of air, super glue them closed. People think they have stuff, then they'll be like, hey, we've been scammed. And then they read the fine print, and then they're like, ah, we scammed ourselves. Because the fine print will always save us in our time of need. All hail the fine print. All hail it. Also, all hail the zombies. Okay, uh, dude, like two zombies have dropped something so far. This is actually very, very poopy so far. And we have to deal with those flota blotas in a second. No, please kill the guy who's actually about to try to attack us. Hey, a green. I think as soon as we uh, get enough greens, though, we're going top side. Because I would like to get some more guns as well. Um... I don't think I'm going to use the AK. Anything with the sight on it, I'm going to save that for when we got uh, the next floor or something. I don't know, but we do have two guns here we could use, and honestly, uh, hold on, I'm going to use the first aid kit. I thought for sure, dude, I don't know, maybe I was going crazy one time. I swore the first aid kit like brought my hunger up or something crazy like that. And uh, you know what I just realized? I should just use the baked beans. That would have been a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, and that would have fueled me too, so what a waste of smeals! Always making myself proud. Anyways, let's make myself proud and mow down some of these dudes. Oh God, dear God. Okay, no, let's get the weaker one to follow me first. There we go. Whoop. He gone and he's not, they're not dropping anything, dude. What the hell? We've been scammed by the bunker itself. All right, I can finish you off. Not the frenzy giant. Although he's definitely not as frenzied in normal mode. Y'all have seen that dude in hard mode. That's where he really gets frenzied, all right? You think he's pissed off when he's like lurking towards you like fee fi fo fum I'm the frenzy giant who sucks his thumb. You think that's when he looks pissed off? Just wait until hard mode and when you bring him down to about 150 health, that's when he's like, ah! Starts screeching like a freaking banshee, dude. That dude's just, whew. Hardcore, but yeah, I'm pretty hopeful that we do come back to us being raided via revenge raid because it's been a while since we've been revenge raided and I'm just ready to like break into some dude's base even though I mean do we ever end up breaking into a dude's base? No, and that's why I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that there will be a base for us to break into all right instead of robbing from pretty much last day on earth hobos all right, who don't have any shelter. They literally just live out on wooden flooring. All right, instead of robbing from those people, I want to rob from the people who are surrounded in the level one wall. Well, no, not, le not like level one honeycombs, though. That would, uh, that'd be a little bit too difficult to break into, TBH. But you know what I mean, you know? Just a couple of level one walls, maybe some level twos, even some stone walls. I let us break into some of those, break into some of those. Then tomorrow, the Raiders, they should return and we should be prepared to do something nifty with some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Anyways, hopefully right now we're just prepared to keep on stockpiling them tickets because that's exactly what a boy like me needs at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And all right, I mean, this room is about to blow. And by that, I mean, there's two dudes over there who probably aren't going to be happy with us searching through their trash. They'll be like, nine, this is our trash. And I'll be like, nine, it's my trash now. You know why? Because you're over there in the cafeteria area when I'm over there actually getting the food and stuff. Oh, I thought I could kill him before he hit me. That's all right. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here or there. That's what we were built for. All right. Like, what's the point of medical supplies if you never use them? Besides stockpiling them for the inevitable, like, 500-foot-tall zombie we're gonna have to fight. Don't know if that's actually a thing, but hey, you never know, dude. You never know when that 500-foot zombie just comes from the sky and it's like, why, hello there. And it's like, hmm, yes, hello. And then he stomps on us, because I'm, like, five feet tall. JK! I'm, like, a solid, uh, six foot three. I know, I know. No worries, though. My girlfriend, she's, like, five foot, so uh, it, it averages out to, like, four feet. Something along those lines. I don't know. My first math class didn't happen yet today, so I'm still kind of rusty on the math. Um, why don't we finish this guy? Let's take out Extendo Clip Kalashnikov 47. Absolutely fantastic weapon, comrades, to use against a turret. Turret does not move. Turret does not know where bullets come from. Turret like, oh, nine, the bullets, they are hit. And I'm like, hello, it is me, Papa Star. I have the bullets from a range you cannot see. And that is when the turret right there falls to a fateful death. 
Now, what do we have here to collect? Ooh, very good. And a little bit of a melee weapon. Definitely don't mind that. Listen, if I see melee weapons, I do not mind picking them up because these things can definitely come in handy, especially if we can get a hit off on him before his buddies noticed. All right, there we go. This is the business. This is when business is booming. Now, I don't know if this thing's gonna break and also he's doing a lot of damage to us, which is very bad, but we can heal for maximum effect and take him up using the machete is absolutely one of the best bang for your buck weapons out there because it does like 30 damage per hit and it has a lot of, uh, oh, I still have so many nails. Uh, not only does it do like a pretty solid amount of damage per hit, but it also does this one other thing very well, which is it has a ton of durability for the damage. Like, I remember some dude at some point, I think he tweeted at me or something, or I just kind of saw it on Reddit, but uh, someone posted the damage outputs, or like the total damage that each weapon does. So like the damage per hit times the amount of hits it has, and like the machete or like the spike devastated, one of the two won out by a lot. So the machete is very reliable, and I'm happy to say that I have such amazing uh, reliability inside of my inventory. Now, Collection of Core 47 must demonstrate reliability. Look, it drops zombie before they drop themselves. Too easy, what can say? Nothing, nothing at all. Except give me more yellows. Really, man, I've got like five yellow tickets. I need a little bit more than that. Can I pull a yellow tick? No, I can pull green though. Can definitely pull a green and some nails. Can't complain about those, even though I technically just was. Now I gotta mow you boys down before you do any damage to me. See what locker you're protect the one. You know what, why is there just one random locker, dude? It's like the start to a horror movie. I feel like this locker's haunted or something like that. It's like, coming soon to a theater near you, the locker that destroyed all other lockers in its path. That's why it's all alone. And they turn this into like bricks and stuff. This is really the most random room ever, man. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand it is okay because I understand food food it is delicious and I like to drink thank you oh no not like this all right let's just pee on the explosives that's always a good idea listen vitamin P not only is it very healthy it's also a great explosive uh, repressant if that's how you say that word I don't know now I just got to make our way through this maze Whoa, 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 whoa. Very nice. Made it through just like the men that we are. Now we got some abominations we gotta deal with. Who will be dealt with swiftly with a kick to the face. A kick to the face with my AK, that is. AK, that's what I like to say. A little bit of that in our inventory. Anything here you're protecting like a yellow ticket perhaps? Or, I don't know. I mean, they used to protect. They used to have a purpose in life. They used to protect these two. They used to protect the specialists down here. Well... Not anymore. No longer do they do that. Instead, they just uh, chill and protect that one random thing. I don't know. Why don't we go ahead and open this up though so we can go full circle and that way when we get that like one last green ticket we need, uh, we can just go straight up or I don't know. We only need five yellow tickets. I kind of don't mind just waiting until we get the yellow tickets to go top side, especially with the ever loud and deafening AK at our side. Ray to help us out and some frenzy giants that are willing to cooperate. For once, I want yellows from the frenzied and what do I get? I get yellows, even though they should, reds are rarer and by definition we should want reds. It's okay, it's okay, baby, baby. I like what I see, I like what I say. Uh, you, Mr. Toxic Abomination, would you like to donate a uh, little, little death to help out the cause? I will happily take one punch from me. Oh, you didn't help out the cause. You're weak sauce, man. You're not helping out the cause. You're helping out yourself. I have an AK to help out the cause now, though, so all will be well. These, these fast biters, they gonna be dead before they get to us. Now then, freaking rooting and tooting. Let's try and use the rest of these guns on these guys. And by that, I mean... Use as much gun durability on the Frenzy Giant as we can before it breaks, and then switch on over to the Extendo Mago AKO, which should be a timely down. Ah, oh, red tickets. I mean, we do need to start gathering the red tickets, and actually, at this rate, I don't know if we'll get enough red tickets to hit 20 in this bunker run, which is uh, actually very worrying. That is beyond worrying. Oh no, we didn't, because we didn't really have that much of a leftover in terms of red tickets, so, oh, we might not be able to open up the red ticket crate today. I know, no, you cannot say it is so. Oh, that's no bueno. At least the rest of the dudes we gotta take out on the floor, I mean, it's just three frenzy giants that are all slow as bejesus, so, sorry about the burp there. 
Shouldn't be too difficult. It should be relatively on the easy side as we continue stockpiling a little bit of that iron. I mean, I'd love to stockpile like three more yellow tickets. You know, is that, is that so much time? We might need to go to the third floor a bit before we... Oh, maybe not. If the Frenzy Giants cooperate, I think we're golden, Cotton. I think we're golden. And we do have the two uh, things to open up over there. Actually, we got a good chance. And dude, it's a trap. Opening up that Frenzy Giant's door from behind. He's just so close to the door. You know he's waiting to inflict some death and destruction. Uh, you know what? Let's finish off this AK. I know it's silenced. Listen, I'm not going to bring an AK like this, though. So close to being broken. Ooh, I like what I see. I'm not going to bring an AK like this to a raid, you know? Because this takes up another slot. I try to minimize when we go on raids the amount of slots we use. Like, don't get me wrong. Absolutely marvelous gun. But at least as of right now, there's no way to repair such a marvelous gun. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be a hard pass on that. Although, the last neck off 4 7 will happily come on in and do the rest of the help. And all right, knowing our luck, we're not going to get the yellow ticket. This is what the game does. It teases us. It gets us one, one away from the yellow. And after that, it stops. It waits. It teases us. Well, hopefully we don't need that. Hopefully that, dude. I mean, you saw... I, 10 out of 10. Gold medal goes to you. Amazing backflip dive. Aw. I didn't want a red ticket. No whammy. No whammy. Cross your fingers. Cross your eyes. Cross your legs. Do it all for Papa Star right now, please. Please cross... Yeah, baby! That's what I wanted to see. Let's go and plop some of those open and see if we might be able to even get... If we're lucky. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, another yellow. Things are starting to go dude, but I, I'm good. But I was going to say, maybe if we're lucky, we will uh, acquire a C4 from the yellow crates. I, all I know, all I've been told is that red crates have a very high chance of C4. No one said anything about, you know, if yellow crates have a chance at it, though. So why don't we go and try to figure that out? I don't know. Oh, wait, I do know because we're going to go figure it out exactly right now. Let's kick things off. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start plopping you open. I like how on the mini map uh, the, the crates move to. I don't know. It's entertaining seeing stuff move on the... I'm easily entertained, okay? Ooh, not too bad. I kind of like what I'm seeing. Another AK. I can never go wrong with one of those. I might leave behind the batteries, come back for those a little bit later, pick up what we can... And I think I need some boots, probably a new hat. You know, mine kind of burned in the fire of zombie destruction and pain. So, uh, you know, a little bit little bit of a goner there. Uh, ooh, we got some more meds. A beautifully decorative bat. 10 out of 10. We'll decorate again. But who touched my spaghetti? And where is my C4? Nowhere to be seen. But hopefully someone touched our spaghetti back at home if you catch my drift. Hopefully someone touched, well, actually not the spaghetti, but the carrot. Who I touched my carrot? Hopefully a raider, because I always leave out one carrot stew to try and, uh, you know, lure them in. The smell of a marvelous carrot stew. I'm actually the best carrot stew chef in all of the apocalypse. Uh, nothing like a great smell on carrot stew to lure in unsuspecting raiders, thinking like, oh, I can already smell the carrot stew from here. And then they'll think, easy raid. If I can smell the carrot stew, what else have they left outside? They get to my base, they see it's an abomination of a honeycomb base. They attempt the raid and, well, they receive pain and suffering. Now the question is, did they get lucky and somehow break into a good part of our base? Dear God, I hope not. That would not be good. But let's enter. Let's hope. Cross everything, guys, for real. Please? Please? Ah, no revenge raid. Really? Really, game? Well, 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 I suppose we might need to come back in a little bit because the revenge raid, the carrot stew, is not enough. Okay, I'm doubling down on the wager. I will give you a lightly used machete and, and check this out, check this out. A water bottle. Look at that, dude. That's a freaking, that's a meal right there and a weapon. Dude, if I could just come across this in a chest in real life, dude, I, that, that'd be amazing. It really would, but uh, give me un moment as I try and put a couple of these goodies away right here. And uh, here's an updated look at this amazing chest with uh, up to, I think we're at 72 wrenches. Like, here, my dude, if those things are useful, which I really feel like wrenches will be useful in future recipes. Uh, well, we got the stockpile there. That's why I'm trying to encase this on level four walls, so all of the stuff in this chest 
is not broken into but i'm happy that we were able to expand our level fourness today that was actually a pretty big deal and a pretty big point i made to try and do and i just got to hope that the raiders come so we can go and re-raid them a little bit that's the one thing that i'm kind of bummed out about but hey it's okay gotta give them your time you know that's that's when you get the best raiders you can't force them to come along because you physically literally cannot force them at least in any way that i know to come along you just gotta wait and see a little bit of patience goes a long bit of a way at least in this game it seems i don't know let's make our way back though let's continue clearing that place out let's hope that maybe we can get our hands on a red ticket crate before it's too late mm, maybe and we do have a couple of band-aids here we can use so we're not always using our first aid kits uh after we open up the red crate too we'll probably have hella first aid kits and why don't we switch on over to using the band-aids first i do like saving the first aid kits though because those are going to be a lot more useful in harder battles because they literally heal everything. They just literally, their definition. Hello, I own first aid kits. My job is to bring you up to 100 health regardless of how much you got. The end. It does take like three band-aids to craft them. So technically speaking, if we're using science, which I have no clue what that has to do with this, they should heal you for like 120 health because that's how much the heals you put into it heal, if that makes sense. Long story short, it heals you all the way, so I might try to save those a little bit. Now, we did clear out pretty much the entirety of Flor Numero Dos. Let's graduate on to Numero Trace, and hopefully one day all those numbers are unlocked, man. Because right now, it's, uh, it's just sad. They're just there. They just exist. Nothing else. All right, so here's the game plan. We will clear our way a little bit, and then we're still going back to base. I do still want to see if the raid's happening. After all, that is kind of uh, what I made the biggest. No, don't shoot at that toxic spinner. Why do you like shooting walls? There's nothing you get. You get nothing from shooting a wall, man. Although from shooting these guys, we do get tickets, and if we're lucky, we might have enough tickets to open on up a crate as soon as uh, as soon as the bunker reopens, which is always an amazing ability to have just like these fridges here that sometimes have like uh, food and stuff i like food and if we get enough food we can use it as healing items we can use this budget band-aids which are just budget first aid kits and then i don't know is there a budget version i guess berries are like budget beans <laughs> budget beans dude if i ever become a rapper real talk i think i know what my rap name is going to be ladies and gentlemen you are looking at the soon or eventually to be bucket beans yeah makes no sense well the best rap ma names make no sense so i think we uh i think we're i think it's settled then i think we know what the first hit single type of name is gonna release under maybe i'll maybe i'll even title the first hit single after myself Ooh, that'd be nifty bucket beans first hit single bucket beans or bean buckets Ooh, bean bags bucket dude i i have potential for like a lot of tie-ins with my name here i'm just saying i know i'm trying to save that for a raid but still you know sometimes sometimes you gotta gotta use it for other purposes can't, can't get spoiled around here and only use it for get gotta use it for fun and also for science because it is a lot cheaper to kill well actually no this is the normal mode of the bunker so it's not cheaper if this was the other mode though it would have been cheaper to kill him because if you guys don't know in a hard mode whenever you shoot someone and they physically can't get to you for some reason it's like you're playing normal mode and you do normal damage to them it's amazing i wish i could do normal damage to everything in hard mode but until i get wings and learn how to fly most zombies will be able to track me down until i'm in the sky you know most zombies don't have wings actually i've never seen a flying zombie now that i think like in seven days to die i've seen the vulture Speed of seven days to die, I hope that you guys enjoying that. And honestly, just a little bit of teaser. Definitely, I'd recommend checking out tomorrow's seven day to die episode. And I love what we got in this crate because uh, that's pretty much gonna be like the biggest zombie battle because we spent the last episode making a humongous base and fortifying the bejesus out of it. And the next episode, we're gonna be dealing with a massive zombie horde that gets bigger for every week that you survive. We're currently on week three. So it's gonna be a solid little horde that we gotta deal with. I just wanted to let y'all know. Speaking of letting y'all know, I hope that you guys checked out the uh, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator video too. That one's actually pretty cool for like literally creating our own battles and watching like massive, humongous armies just partake in this type of stuff. I don't know. I'd say like maybe check it out, give it a whirl, see what you think of it. I mean, if I, I don't know, I like I like encouraging you guys to check out videos. Like I'm, I don't want to force you guys to like. Well, I'm not gonna be like watch the Seven Days to Die series every episode, but I like encourage you guys like hey 
check out seven days to die like check out every video at least once and if you like it keep watching if not that's all cool you know i just want to i just want to introduce you guys to new games too along with all the fun that we have mowing down the zombies with our favorite weapon comrade hello comrade well, hold on, let me do voice. Hello, comrade. It's FPS Russia here today with Kalashnikov 47 and Frenzy Giant who he shoot in the face a lot. Frenzy Giant shot him so hard his face forgot that the bullets hurt and he didn't come after us for a couple of minutes. Amazing, I know. My Russian accent used to be better. All right, I mean, I, I think it's still okay because I am Polish. And if you guys didn't know, Polish people are Eastern European. And all Eastern Europeans just got that amazing, just hard accent. Except me, because I'm Eastern European and I can't nail the accent. But still, you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's clear through a couple more of these guys. And then we'll make our way back and see if we can't luck out. This is this is usually like the halfway point where I like to go to. If we got to go halfway in some place, right here. Because we get a free Frenzy Giant kill. And uh, I'm not a person to turn down free Frenzy Giant kills. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. That Frenzy Giant knew what I'm saying. That's why he ran away. Can I shotgun rain you from this far? Zombie? No. Well, shucks. I suppose I can shoot you with some, uh, with some AK action and then... Switch on over to one of these. And you know what? I should go to melees after this. Because we've been using real weapons quite a lot. So probably want to... Well, not real weapons, but like guns. The guns, Tommy. We've been using those a little bit. So we just got to try and do some of this. Because we can do massive sneak attack damage. And then let's just auto this and survive. No, kill this man's first. Please. Oh, God. We are naked. Well, at least like our upper half is naked. That's all right. I'm ready to heal. I also was getting prepared to heal with the first aid kit. Looking back, that would have been a mistake. Because, oh, that's a home run. There was some real anger and rage put into that hit. Oh, mama. Uh, why don't we drink on up a little bit there? Hey, another yellow ticket. Exactly what I don't need now. Jesus, game. Why you got to do this to me? Uh, and why don't we go and try to take out a couple of you. Shotgun rain. Hope you enjoy. I got another serving. Shotgun rain. Just for you. Shotgun rain. Another frenzy giant feels the pain. Shotgun rain. Dear God, that was like watching Shotgun Rain Ballet. Literally just flew that, that dude literally just flew off of his body. His legs are there, his body's there. I didn't hit his legs over there. I freaking shot his body off his legs. Could you imagine that ever happening? That just seems like such a funny idea to me. Shooting someone off of their legs? I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not in real life though. Not in real life. I don't, I don't want to shoot people in real life. That, that came out wrong. You know what I mean? I like shooting zombies. It's fun. Cause they deserve to die because they want to eat my brain. My brain is a high value commodity. All right. It's uh, it's it's real smart. Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. Yeah. Look at that. Can every brain do that? I think not. Not everyone's maths can be that quick. Unfortunately for you, my maths are that quick. Toxic spitters. Unfortunately for you guys, I got an M16 that's going to take you out before you can get to me. Then we got two more zombies to clear out before we uh, head on over to top side. <clears throat> Frenzy Giant drops something, potentially a red ticket. Actually, I always forget that the third floor is so many more red tickets. I think we definitely, uh, I think we definitely stand a chance for having enough red tickets to open on a red ticket crate. Our luck just got ridiculously better as soon as we got to 4-3. And that's what I like. Oh, yeah, dude. If they, if this continues, this to like, what, four or five Frenzy Giants left for, ah, uh, I'm trying to think, actually. Three... One, I think there's like six or seven frenzy giants left for us, man. Like, we got a good amount of frenzy giant killing to do, plus all the crates we're gonna be opening. There's definitely a shot at victory for us. But now comes the most important shot of them all. The shot where we head back and we see if this is it, or if this is just even more sadness. I am, of course, talking about the revenge raid, so, uh, uh, magical edit to, to home and see if they're there. All right, boys, here it is, the moment of truth. Now we listen. If we hear a noise, we know we've been raided. There's no noise, I don't think. No, no, usually by the time you start hearing the wind blowing and stuff, there's a noise. It appears today that that noise was just not meant to be, but hopefully 
tomorrow's episode we will come back and be revenge raided by then but at the very least we had some awesome stuff to talk about today and what kafir has been teasing and what i seriously think is gonna be like a raider leader of some sort or just some dude like leads maybe a raiding type of event i don't know but i think there might be more of these raiders than just raiding each other maybe there'll be like special type of raider events i think that might be a thing moving forward but that's enough of ideas sharing from me i would love to hear from you guys your thoughts on some of this so make sure to put that in the comment section down below and make sure to like and subscribe as well so you're entered into that weekly giveaway but uh, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now best of luck Gerard. it's a chopper squadron my friends best of luck raiding and best of luck protecting your base during these trying times where raids are a plenty best of luck having yourself a favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety and i uh, just thank you guys all time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya